Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. There's been quite a few new Unreal game releases this week. We've had The Amazing Kronos, The New Dawn. We've had Hell Is Us. Some people have been playing and raving about Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. I would make a video of that game in VR, but it's not my type of game. I'm not a big fan of the series. So I've left that to other VR YouTubers to create UE VR videos on that game. However, there is a game that everybody's raving about that came out last week. It's called Metal Eden. And today's video is going to be about Metal Eden. And we're going to try that game today in VR using UE VR. Before I jump into some gameplay, I have noticed in the Flat to VR forums, in the UE VR section, people are having problems with profiles for games. For example, let's take a game like Robocop. By default in UE VR, you can play the game with the gamepad, but you have to use your controller to aim and shoot. There is a profile for Robocop that lets you use your motion controllers to grab the weapons, aim and shoot, just like a normal VR game. You've got six stuff, you've got room scale, and that's what these profiles do. Now, there are a few things you need to do to get these profiles to work, and I'm going to show you that quickly before I jump into the game Metal Eden. I've not played Metal Eden yet, so I'm going to go through the process of getting the profile, installing the profile, and along the way I'm going to explain some of the problems that some people might be having getting these profiles to work. You need to make sure you join the flat screen to VR modding community on Discord, and then in Discord you need to scroll down and you're looking for the Unreal Engine VR section. In here you're going to find some videos. I've made some videos look showing you the games working in VR with UEVR and there's quite a few uh, VR content creators now making these types of videos. We have some amazing community members making profiles for these games. At the moment we're waiting for the first person profile for Kronos. This is a third person game and I've done a video playing the game in third person but the community are experimenting with a profile to allow full motion controls in the game. So they're going to turn it into a first person game where you can use your controllers to aim and shoot. As far as I know, they've got first person working. You can grab the weapons, you can aim, but the shooting mechanic is not quite right. People are saying that the bullets are not coming from your weapons. They might be hitting the crosshairs, but the bullets are coming from your body. So they are trying to make the profile perfect so that the bullets come out of the barrel of the gun. To get the profiles, you need to make sure you go to the game section, and then you need to find the game you want the profile for. When you go into the game section, normally the top games featured are the ones that the people are talking about, and these tend to be the more modern games, games like uh, Metal Eden, Kronos. And if you want to try an older game and you can't find it just by scrolling up or down, just type the name in here, look. For example, let's type Hell Is Us, which is another new VR game. And it's here, look. So you just click on it. And then all the information on the right hand side. This is where people talk about the game. And this is where you get profiles for the games as well. So I want to profile for Metal Eden. I'm going to select the game here. Now it's brought up the menu on the right hand side. Now it's very hard to find profiles in this mode. You need to click on the three dots at the top. You need to go to open in full view. And then the um, pinned messages here, look. Click on that. And if there's any profiles, normally they are in here. Now my good friend and fellow VR content creator, Headset VR, has made this profile for the demo and we're going to try it today for the full game. Now this should give us six doff hand controls. I should be able to just pick up a gun, aim and shoot, just like a normal VR game. Now sometimes as the game gets older and the months progress, this changes. You might have more than one profile in the pin messages. So make sure you select the right profile. Sometimes you might get a profile for left-handed people. So like in Robocop, there's a left-handed profile so if you want to use your left hand as your dominant hand for shooting, you download the left-handed profile. 
So you might see more than one profile in the section here. This is a very new game. There's only one profile available. We're going to download it and give it a go. Now click on it and download it and save it on your PC somewhere. Now here's a very important tip why some profiles might not work. As you can see in my downloads folder, I downloaded the profile this morning. The one I just downloaded, it's got the open bracket one, close bracket on the end. So now I've got two profiles downloaded. Now if I was to inject the top profile with the added information on the end, it's not going to work in the game. So you need to make sure when you download the profiles, you haven't already downloaded the profiles. You need to make sure the original file does not have anything on the end. I'm going to delete the profile we just downloaded, so I'm not confused. And this is the original profile that's working. I found in the past, I've installed a profile with the bracket sign on the end, and the profile's not worked. So look at that. One-to-one -one motion controller support with UEVR in Robocop. What did I say in my previous video again? So yes, I'm an idiot, I'm a moron. For those who don't know, my previous video, which I've now deleted because it was completely inaccurate, really. Um, it was my own idiotic fault, really, that I didn't look into things deep enough. But this specific problem that I was talking about in that last video um, was just caused by me using the wrong profile, believe it or not. Paradise Decay and Daysnetic looked into this as well. And uh, Lee, Daysnetic, contacted me and said, look, you're using the wrong profile, mate. And it turns out, yeah, that's exactly what was wrong. So it's my own fault. I didn't look into things deep enough and it was my mistake. So that's why I deleted that video is because I didn't want more people watching it and getting incorrect information from me. So this, I'll put a link to this version, this profile, which now gives full 6DOF one-to-one motion controller support within the game. And you know it's now no matter if you pan if i twist the gun everything looks like it should do it operates correctly i played robocop once and it wasn't working there was no first person the guns were not working and the next method that i'm going to show you is how i found out i installed the wrong profile so always make sure you've got the right profile if you see the bracket symbol on the end either one or two or three it means you've downloaded the profile multiple times you need to delete those profiles. So this is the profile for Metal Eden. Now I'm going to install the profile now before I inject UEVR into the game. In the flat screen to VR community, in the UEVR section, you should be able to find the download for UEVR. If you don't have UEVR downloaded on your PC, then go to Google, type in UEVR and follow the links. By default, you want the original version of UEVR which is this one here. So this is UEVR, and there are the latest versions here. This was released on November the 16th, 2024. Click on that. You just need to scroll down, click on this, and it will download the file. This is the build that most people will download and use. Now I like to use an experimental build. So if I go back to Google, You'll see I've typed in UEVR Nightly. So the UEVR Nightly build is an experimental build. It's more up to date and it does tend to work better with the latest Unreal games, but it might crash, it might not be stable. Personally, myself, I've had no issues with this build at all. Again, just follow the link on the right where it says latest, click on latest. This was actually updated 16 hours ago. So even for me, this is new. I've never used this build before. Go to latest and we're going to download it. If you're running the latest Windows 11, you'll probably get this warning message, look, threat found. It happens all the time. It's detected UEVR nightly build as a virus. It's not a virus. I've been using this build for over two years now. So in my virus and threat protection, I need to make sure it allows me to download this file. I'm actually going to turn my virus checker off now so that I can download the file. You'll need to do something similar on your PC to be able to download the file. I've just turned everything off for now. I 
and I can now download the file. Now that I've got the experimental build, I'm going to unzip this. Once I've unzipped the file, I can now go back into my security settings and I can turn my protection back on. So once you've downloaded either the default version of UVR or the nightly build, you run the file From here we're going to import the profile we just downloaded for the game, which was Metal Eden. So I'm going to go to import config, go to my downloads and I need to import this profile here. This is the one we downloaded, Metal Eden, Windows 64 shipping.zip. Just click on it. That is now installed. It's that simple. If you have any problems in the game, it's not working, you think you've done something wrong, Run UVR again, go into the open global directory and find the game folder. We just installed Metal Eden Windows 64 shipping. Now when I had the problems with Robocop and I installed the wrong profile, I installed the profile with the bracket sign and the number in the bracket, in here I saw Robocop with the bracket sign. So when I was in the game, the profile did not work because the game was looking for a folder without the brackets. As soon as I renamed the folder and got rid of the brackets and had the folder as it was supposed to be, it worked. If you go into this directory option and you see the game's got two folders, then you probably already tried to install the profile for the game. If the two folders for the game, it confuses you with your and sometimes it does not work. So if you see two folders for the game, my advice is to download the profile you want, delete all folders for the game, and then import the profile again. When you go into this open global directory, you should see just one folder for the game. So that's my simple tip on how to make sure profiles are working. Let's try the game now. This is my first time trying the game with a UVR, click on play. I've got UVR up and running. I've got the profile installed. And the game's running, I can see my screen. Metal Eden, so now we need to bring up UVR. I'm playing the game on the Quest 3 with virtual desktop, so I'm going to select OpenXR. If you're playing the game with like the Quest 3, the Link Cable or Meta Link, then you need to select OpenVR. If you're playing on Steam or any other headset, then select OpenXR. Find the game in the drop down box, Meta Eden, and then inject. I can see the UVR menu. I do have the frame generation turned off. I don't know why it keeps um, saying that it's on. Okay, set standing height, set standing origin, recenter view. Okay, and I can move my menu around now with my controller. That's shown me that the controller is working with the guns and the weapons. A to confirm. Now I'm in the VR world. Okay, so my gun, I can aim and shoot. Yep. Oh, look at the gore. I had a glimpse of you And when you was gone I searched for you everywhere When I go wrong Chasing shadows in the neon light Flickers of hope in the darkest night Echoes linger in this empty space Where did you disappear in the digital haze? Lost in the rhythm But still feel the voice You were my signal Now I'm just noise Through 
through the pages of memories untold In a world of pixels, your world turns cold Chasing up the whispers through the wires and screams